is all used on the right hand side of an assignment Pythonic. Situation Note, the following situation is just exemplary. This question applies to anything that can evaluate to bool. A default list should be used if the user does not provide a custom list. You can shorten this too. Now, as per, this URL. The expression x or y first evaluates x, if x is true, its value is returned, otherwise, y is evaluated and the resulting value is returned. Or does not return a boolean, but rather the first value whose boolean conversion is not false. Therefore, the following would be valid code. This is similar to the C hash null coalescing operator, except it should be recoined in Python as false coalescing operator, which returns the first non-false argument. Question. The last example seems to be easier to read, but is it considered Pythonic? Neither PEP8, the program, nor Pilint do complain. That is perfectly valid and you can use that. Even the documentation of OR has an example for the same. Note that neither and nor restrict the value and type they return to false and true, but rather return the last evaluated argument. This is sometimes useful, for example, if S is a string that should be replaced by a default value if it is empty, the expression S or foo yields the desired value. However, the OR method has a limitation. If you want to purposefully allow a non-truthy value, then it is not possible with that. Let us say you want to allow an empty list. We'll always give default underscore list. For example. But with conditional expression we can handle it like this. Dusting off the older documents, quoting the BDFL's fact. Four point one six Q is there an equivalent of C's ternary operator? A not directly. In many cases you can mimic A, B C with A and B or C, but there's a flaw, if B is zero, or empty, or none, anything that tests false, then C will be selected instead. In many cases you can prove by looking at the code that this can't happen, for example because B is a constant or has a type that can never be false, but in general this can be a problem. Steve Majewski, or was it Tim Peters? Suggested the following solution, A and, B, or, C0. Because, B, is a singleton listed is never false, so the wrong path is never taken, then applying, 0 to the whole thing gets the B or C that you really wanted. Ugly, but it gets you there in the rare cases where it is really inconvenient to rewrite your code using if. Yes, using or for its short-circuiting properties was the norm, before the conditional expression construct was added to the language. It was, and still is, perfectly Pythonic to use. To fall back to a default if bar is false y, evaluates to false in a boolean context. The fact that it short circuits also lets you do things like and not have expensive underscore calculation execute if bar is truth y, evaluates to true in a boolean context. Similarly, you can use and to ensure that preconditions are met. You should use a conditional expression for. However, 
That's what the conditional expression aims to replace. The idea was that if bar is truth y, then spam is picked, else eggs is picked. But that breaks down if spam is false y. This was a common source of errors, while always picks spam if bar is truth y.